Right, you made it this far, I'm going to challenge you now. So this is kicking it up a notch. This is just a little bit more difficult than the stuff we've been doing. Uh, and it looks like this, it's a really, really nice cut. It's the one-handed cut, okay, so it's a cut deck of cards with one hand. Now this is a nice party piece, right, and it can add a nice little pizzazz and flourish to any card trick or any card routine, you slip this in here. So to show you how this is done, I'm kind of just turn a little bit side on and sit like an old man in a whiskey bar. Uh, might help if you grab a deck of cards and follow along with this. So here's the grip. You're going to grip the cards like this. So you're gonna have all your four fingers on the front edge and your thumb is at the back edge like this. So four fingers at the front and then my thumb is just along that back edge, right? Now it's important with this that you have a nice high grip on the cards. Now by high grip, I mean I'm gripping them along the tips, almost like the deck's quite high in the hand, so we have plenty of space here which is going to be important in a little bit. For example, if, I, if I'm holding the cards here and I go and try and cut the cards, that's impossible. There's no way that that, that deck of cards is going anywhere, but that's why we're going to be holding the cards quite high up in the hand, not too high, but right at the edge of the fingertips, just like that, okay? Four fingers at the front, thumb at the back. Step one is to allow, now just releasing pressure with your thumb, you're gonna allow a few cards to fall. Around about the third half of the deck, something like that, is to fall, okay? And not drop all these in the process, right? If you've got that far, good. Stay with me, do it nice and slow, you're gonna be fine. Your first finger now, so your left first finger is going to actually come underneath these like this. So if I just show you from the front, it's going to come underneath these and it's going to push up. So they are going to come up. And then you're going to push up, up, up so far and you'll see this top packet, it just clears that top packet and that is going to fall onto your first finger. Hopefully, at this point, pick all the cards up and try and catch back up with me. Okay, because it's quite normal to drop them at this point. I was dropping them all, all the way. But get back up to this point. Now, you're holding the cards up here with your thumb. So this is actually gripping this packet and stopping it from going anywhere. So your next step now is just with that right first finger, that left first finger is just to kick it out from the packet. So you're gonna let it just, and that will allow that packet to fall. And then this packet, is gonna rest neatly on top. And you're like, it's all right for you, Matt. You've been practicing this for years. It's a difficult move, but it is well within your reach. I promise you, it just takes a little bit of practice. When you get it, it is easy, okay? But it's a really nice move as well, and it looks super difficult. So you're gonna have some bragging rights when you learn this one. A Couple of key tips here. Fingers nice and high, that'll allow you to be able to drop those cards and when you push these up it gives them plenty of space to clear okay so this is where most people go wrong so make sure you've got enough space to clear that first finger pushes these up that's going to fall on top of the first finger thumb is grabbing this packet here now first finger just kicks out and then you're going to drop these on top i am challenging you with this but i know you can handle it and this is going to teach you a little bit of discipline because this will take you a little while to get but I promise you it's worth it.